Hey guys, JJ here, back with another brand new Resident Evil fan game. Today I have Resident Evil, The Arclay Chronicles. Now this game gives us the perspective of Kenneth from the Bravo team as they investigate the Spencer Mansion before the Alpha team show up. It's retold through a third person perspective, much more in line with Resident Evil 2 and 3 remakes. If you guys would like to download and play this for yourselves, I'll leave a link down below in the description. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and let me know if you'd like to see me continue as chapters release. So with that being said, here's Resident Evil, The Arclay Chronicles. Okay, so this is cool because we get to see it from Bravo Team's perspective. And this is a cutscene from Resident Evil Zero. A simple investigation of some bizarre murders in the suburbs of Raccoon City. Nothing in our training could ever have prepared us for the nightmare that ensued. We never stood a chance. Ancient failure. Emergency landing. Here we go. Oh. Coming in hot. Landed. Check the current position and investigate the surrounding area. Captain, look! <gasps> now we know what Rebecca was up to, but what was Kenneth Captain. up to? Hmm? What happened? G Fuel. Court order for transportation. Prisoner Billy Cohen, ex-lieutenant, 26 years old. Court martialed and sentenced to death July 22nd. Prisoner is to be transferred to the Regathon base for execution. Those poor soldiers. They were good men just doing their jobs, and that scum murdered them and escaped. All right, everyone. I love Let's seeing the Bravo the area. team all alive here. This is, is so cool. I love this cutscene. Keep your guard up. Separated from your teammates after a furious dog attack, you manage uh, to escape wounded during the attack. You enter the courtyard and hope to find welcome to the world of survival horror. Okay, so we get to experience what Kenneth was up to during the events of Resident Evil Zero. Here we are. Cool. So we got third person perspective. Ooh. I like I like seeing these fan builds of these games just to kind of get a different perspective, a different take. I just think they're really cool. It's interesting to see it like this. Oh, my dog. Down, doggy. Good door. As the change monster had become more and more unpredictable since the accident last month, we decided to lock this door so that it does not approach the residents. However, if for some exceptional reason you need to go to the mansion, please come and see me so that I can open it for you. If the reason is urgent and you can't find me, then you can cut the chain. I believe there must be the necessary material in the caves, and I will take care of the replace and replace it. John told me. Cool. Oh, I accidentally shot my gun. Alright, so it's gonna be locked. Hopefully we can go in there. It'd be cool to see the Spencer Mansion. Oh, we got some fixed camera angles in here. Alright. So far, it's really, really interesting. I wanna see what they add to Kenneth's story. Dog. Down, dog it! Another dog there. Another dog there. How much ammo we got? 11? Oh shit! I got bit. Only a few rounds left, too. So I look for some ammo. What do we get over here? Through the world. What's going on? 
Can I grab that? It's like a magazine. Okay, a little funky. A little funky. Work in progress. Got some ammo though. Let's head down to the caves. I like that little fixed camera angle when you approach an area. Oh. This is creepy from this perspective. Very cool. Not used to seeing it like this. Don't need the crank. Very dark. Very dark and spooky. I like this. Hopefully I don't get a boulder coming at me. I'm not Chris. I can't punch it. I got some ammo. Camera's a little, a little wonky in some areas, but this is early in development. This is just chapter one. I know uh, Lord DJ's still working on it, but uh, it's really cool so far. Oh, God damn. Forgot about that. That's so creepy how it just slowly backs up into its hole. Damn, man, that was really cool. This room looks great, too. Again, very interesting to see it from this perspective. I love fixed camera angles. I'm not opposed to the idea of a Resident Evil 1 remake if it's done right with the Resident Evil 2 playstyle. I'm not completely opposed to it, but in my opinion, Resident Evil 1 remake is Resident Evil perfection. It would be hard to top. I don't think you'd be able to. I find I have to find the infirmary first, okay. But it's interesting. Okay, so he's up in his hole. Let's get the hell out of here, dude. I hate spiders. I have arachnophobia bad. All right, let's get out of here. I don't think I can get in that door. Nope. All right, so we got a little bit of ammo, but not a lot. Camera a little funky there. But it looks like the ammo responds, so that's helpful. Let's keep coming in and going out. There we go. Feel a little more safe now, 15 and 15. I'm gonna need some health. Let's see what I got in my inventory. We got a first aid spray and bolt cutters. Okay. I like the uh, storm and the atmosphere of this. Grab something there. Ammo. Have you the infirmary. All right, so it looks like we do get to go into the Spencer Mansion. That's awesome. Okay, let's make our way up. Oh, zombies, all right. That's cool, dude. Oh, they're juicy. Am I splitting domes? No dome split. Gotta get the dome splitter. That's cool. Reload. Actually, did any of the items respawn over here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Bolt cutters. Okay. Now this is what I, what I was excited for. You see the Spencer man. Oh, the hall is really dark. Cool. Who's that? Who are these people? Hey, hey, Richard. That's not bad. Oh, Jesus. Hey, oh, that's me. <laughs> Holy shit. I was not expecting that. What? That's so cool, dude. Okay, so then these. All right. Well, there's a pleasant surprise. 
I have to find the infirmary. Okay, so I can't go explore until we find the infirmary. It's locked. I like the zombie breaking through. That was a good jump scare. Gonna be running low on ammo here. No, we still got a decent amount. Let's get the zombies from the Resident Evil 1 remake too. They're models. It's got a lot of potential. This is cool. I think it was uh, just some some more work and some more you know you know more chapters. This could be a really cool fan game. The infirmary. Good start so far though. A lot of zombies. Definitely much easier to aim with over the shoulder. Oh, please, no dogs. Oh, Jesus. Oh, there's a lot. Get back. Can't move that. Just wanted to check to see if there's a magazine down there. Now, I was excited to see this room. I don't know, man. I could just kind of run around in here and look at things from like a third person perspective, and I find that interesting. I don't know. It's cool. You're so used to seeing it with the fixed camera angles that it's kind of like a new game. All right, we got something. Looks like a amount of ammo. Nine left? Okay. Cut off a little bit on my end, so I couldn't see right away. To the main hall. Curious to know what you guys are thinking of this so far. Let me know in the comments. Oh, that's sick. Oh, that's cool. I don't know, man. That's playing Resident Evil 4 in VR. Kind of really, really, really want a Resident Evil 1 in VR. Resident Evil 4 has done so well, man, that this would just be awesome to walk around and get to be in the Spencer Mansion. So I would assume I'm one of the first ones in here. Alpha Team's not on, on scene yet. I don't know. There's there's potential. For remaking one again. But it really is all about the execution. How much uh, attention to detail and time you put into it. I've unlocked it. Wish me luck. I don't know what's in here. Oh! I don't like breaking glass. Oh shit! It switched! This is cool, I get to do the actual cam footage from Kenneth. A Huron. Oh, that, that's neat, I like that. Almost like if you set this entire thing up like a, a dash, or like a um, body cam. That'd be, that'd be cool. What? What is this? Spaghetti sauce. I hope this is not Bob's spaghetti sauce. Oh God. And then that's where his demise, his demise, Kenneth F's in the chat. That was really, really cool. Fun little take on Resident Evil 1. And I always wanted to see what, you know, the Bravo team was up to in the Spencer Mansion. Ending B, total time. So there's multiple endings. So if you guys want to play this yourselves, I'll leave a link to download down in the description. There's multiple endings to this so you can check out what other ones there are. Total time, 15 minutes, not bad. That's a awesome little snippet to give you a taste of what Lord DJ is working on. Uh, and I enjoyed it. I think it has a lot of potential. It's cool. I want to check out more. All right, guys, but now I want to know your thoughts. What did you think of Resident Evil The Arclight Chronicles? Would you like to see me play more as chapters release? Let me know down below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And make sure to subscribe for more Resident Evil fan games. The Residents of Evil is a Patreon-supported channel and also supported by our YouTube members. So if you'd like to become a member and unlock access to custom badges, emojis, and exclusive live streams, click that Join button down below. I have the Duke here at The Residents of Evil to tell you a little about our sponsor, G Fuel. Do you have need of anything for the road ahead? The Residence of Evil has expanded its services. 
Perhaps you're in need of a little pick-me-up. I recommend the G Fuel. You can even get a fair discount if you use the code ROE upon purchase. And as always, we thank you for your patronage, stranger. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and we hope to see you back at the Residence of Evil.